there, I'm Teacher Nia and I will be your Teacher in Science 5. Today's topic is all about the properties of matter. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to differentiate general properties from special properties of matter. Describe the special properties of solid materials. Give the importance of special properties in our daily lives. Matter has physical and chemical properties. Physical properties are characteristics that can be measured without changing its chemical composition. It can be intensive and extensive. Chemical properties, on the other hand, are characteristics of a substance to react to form new substances. But our focus for today is physical properties of solid materials. I have here a mystery box. So what do you think are the things inside this box? Okay, come on, let's find out. The first item is... Ruler. What can you say about the ruler? It is long and made of plastic. The second item is... It's a spoon. Where do we use it? For eating. And it is made of metal. The next one is... Flat iron. What do you think is it used? It is used for smoothing our clothes. And it is made of both plastic and metal. The next item is discarded wire. What can be found inside the discarded wire that can be sold to junk shops? Of course, it's the copper wire, and copper wire is made of metal. The next thing is rubber band. Rubber band is used for tidying pieces of material. It is made of rubber. The next item is sponge. Sponge is used for dishwashing and made of soft, porous material. The last item will be Mag. It's made of ceramic. What do you think these things have in common? You're right. They all have mass. Mass is the measure in the amount of an object. The basic unit of mass is kilogram. Which do you think weighs more? A mug that weighs 0 0.4 kilograms or flat iron with 0 0.8 kilograms? Of course, flat iron weighs more because it has a higher mass. What else do they have in common? Correct! They all occupy spaces. The quantity of three-dimensional space occupied by an object is called volume. Its basic unit is cubic meter. Since all materials have mass and volume, these materials have also density. And density. So what is density? And density is the ratio between mass and volume. The unit for density is gram per cubic centimeter and can be computed using the formula density is equal to mass divided by volume. These properties of materials which are present in all forms, whether it is solid, liquid, or gas is what we call general properties. What makes these materials differ from one another? Let us analyze the materials that we have kept. Ruler. The plastic ruler can be bent. 
This property of plastic ruler which can be bent without breaking is called flexibility. Rubber band. As we stretch the rubber band, it forms different shapes. As we release the other end of rubber band, it goes back to its original form. This property of material that can resume its normal shape is called elasticity. Sponge has the ability to absorb liquid substances which is known as porosity. Mag, made of ceramics. Ceramics can be easily broken when it is dropped. This ability to be broken down into pieces is called brittleness. Discarded wire. Discarded wire has a copper wire inside. This property of materials that can be turned into wires is called ductility. Spoon. Spoon is made of aluminum which was hammered. This ability of material to turn into flat sheets when hammered is called malleability. When it is plugged into source, will allow current to pass through the metal in the plug. This property of material that allows electricity to pass through is called electrical conductivity. As the current flow in the flat iron, it will generate heat and transfer to the bottom metal plate of flat iron, which is also made of metal. This ability of material that conducts heat is called thermal conductivity. Why is that the handle of flat iron does not heat up? It is because the coating of flat iron is made of plastic, and plastic is highly heat resistant. Heat resistant is the ability of materials to resist the flow of heat energy. The unique physical properties that differ from each material is what we call special properties. Just like you and me and the people around you, we all have unique qualities. Our uniqueness will complement to one another that would build a better society. Thank you for watching and listening. I hope you learned something from today's lesson. Goodbye and God bless us all.